It is admittedly difficult to remember among all of his buffoonery just how vile a person Donald Trump is. Lucky for us, Trump is giving us ample reason to remember with this video where he violently attacks queer people and trans youth. Watch this. The left-wing gender insanity being pushed on our children is an act of child abuse. Very simple. Here's my plan to stop the chemical, physical, and emotional mutilation of our youth. On day one, I will revoke Joe Biden's cruel policies on so-called gender-affirming care. Ridiculous. A process that includes giving kids puberty blockers, mutating their physical appearance, and ultimately performing surgery on minor children. Can you believe this? All right, let's break it down. Firstly, Trump is an idiot. This is clearly a return to his wildly regressive attitudes to pander to the most prejudiced in his base over hot button issues like gender affirming care. It is not a secret that Donald Trump will throw whoever and whatever he has to under the bus. Marginalized peoples, friends and former colleagues, the truth, none of that matters to Trump. What is important to Trump is this desperate grasp at presidential immunity amidst his ongoing special counsel investigation, inching ever so closely to landing him in a jail cell for the rest of his life. But regardless, this is a constant among all Republican officials, obsessed with targeting trans people and specifically trans children, because they know that humiliating and controlling kids is the best way to sabotage this process of self-actualization and queer liberation. And this tactic is not new from Republicans who claim that gender-affirming care are being vaulted onto children prematurely so that they can permanently mutilate their bodies. But with a regret rate substantially lower than most procedures like prostate cancer and knee replacement surgeries, the numbers just don't support that fact. Instead, Republicans will opt to punish our teachers, thin out our social services, and police our children's bodies. Watch this. We will also investigate whether Big Farmer or others have illegally marketed hormones and puberty blockers, which are in no way licensed or approved for this use. My Department of Education will inform states and school districts that if any teacher or school official suggests to a child that they could be trapped in the wrong body, they will be faced with severe consequences, including potential civil rights violations, for sex discrimination. Going after Big Pharma? Wow, that is a novel concept coming from a Republican's mouth. There's always an attempt at justifying hateful rhetoric and action against trans children as a means of protection. But Republicans forget one simple truth. Queer children exist. And when we make space for hateful Republican policies, they are not avoided, they are only silenced. And in an oppressive environment like that, for children is a lonely and dangerous place and strikes a somber tone when you consider the devastating numbers like this, where more than half of trans youth have considered or attempted suicide in their adolescence. Growing up as a queer child is already difficult, who wish to discover new and intuitive ways to identify themselves, to live life, to be in community, and to find themselves. And we need to get Donald Trump in jail. He's already halfway in there. <laughs> this is Adrian Kosa, The Breakdown. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check back for more videos. See you guys soon.